Like most things, your brain is a delicate balance, and when it's disrupted, it can be catastrophic. As you age, you become more at risk of having this balance disrupted and developing a form of dementia. Dementia is a term that describes a series of diseases that progressively affect memory and other cognitive functions. This includes, but is not limited to, Alzheimer's, Lewy body disease, and frontal temporal dementia. In addition to cognitive decline, all three of these diseases share one thing in common, abnormal protein clumps. Inside your brain are hundreds of cells known as neurons. Neurons communicate with each other through both electrical and chemical signals, which transmit information throughout the brain and the nervous system, allowing us to think and move our bodies. Neurons are essentially playing a large game of telephone, and protein clumps get in the way. These three diseases are associated with specific proteins that become an issue when they misfold or clump together. To see what this looks like, let's take a closer look at Alzheimer's. Usually, neurons are able to communicate relatively easily, but in Alzheimer's, a protein known as beta amyloid clumps together and gets in between neurons, disrupting communication. When you add in misfolded tau proteins, nutrients are blocked from reaching the cell. Eventually, enough protein builds and the neuron is no longer able to function and dies. While the specifics of which type of clumps are involved in each disease and how they each affect neurons varies, they all prevent neurons from functioning properly and result in neuron death. This is what it looks like between two neurons, but what does it look like on a larger scale? Welcome to Brain City! As abnormal protein clumps accumulate, neurons die and neurological pathways are lost, resulting in the brain shrinking until it can no longer support itself. Different parts of the brain are responsible for different functions, and depending on where the most neuron loss is will determine what symptoms manifest. For example, the hippocampus plays a key role in learning and memory and is often the first thing damaged in Alzheimer's, resulting in memory loss. While these diseases share some of the same symptoms, like confusion and language difficulties, they are characteristically different. Frontal temporal dementia sees the most damage in the frontal and temporal lobes causing personality and behavioral changes, while Lewy body dementia's damage tends to cause hallucinations and attention difficulties. Protein clumps are an important factor in dementia, but they aren't the cause. Then why do we care? These clumps are the mechanism of the disease. Remember our dominoes from earlier? Each falling domino causing the next to fall is the mechanism while I am the cause. Similar to how these protein clumps progress the disease but do not cause it. And while we currently don't know the cause of these diseases, understanding the mechanism behind them will help us better understand how to treat them and hopefully one day to cure.